All right, since the uh, last time we were here, the mowers did come, but it's great because we had that wonderful few days of rain here at the beginning of July, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th of July. And it was cloudy even for a couple of days after that. And they left it tall, which was good. And so they've come after that here in mid-July. Just taking a peek into the creek bed. And we're gonna take a look at the creek bed up into the wood real quick. Here we go. Let's see if any of these frogs are out. at the moment. So a lot of detritus has come into the field as a result of all the garbage being brought here from the parking lots that are just over behind me. They came and mowed. Now this is what the city mows. There's a cat out there. And as you can see, all of our ponds are dried up that we always refer to. This one here, this one here, and the one under the tree. The uh, black willow tree. And now it's triple digits every day. So from now until uh, September, Labor Day, which is about six weeks. Today is the 19th, I believe, of July. About six weeks, seven weeks, we're going to have triple digit weather, probably no rain. And it is not as bad a year as I was thinking, but it is still worse than last year and certainly worse than the years before it. So we're headed toward that drought I predicted. I said it was going to be 2019 summer. So let's see if that is borne out. This one, not bad. You see a lot more green here. When it, in the drought year, like we had in 2011, when there were 51 straight days of triple digit weather, this would all be yellow brown in July. So we're not as bad off as the worst. But impending drought next year, 